Carver. Strip. There you go, little bro. You need better... better stuff. Better... No, I don't want to destroy that. I actually went and got you the Halbrook of Gelging the Faithful, which is a lot better than the armor that you've got right now. And the Golden Mask. Oh yes, Sir Mora's Gauntlets and the Boosts of Faith. And then, as for accessories, uh, see, these are all things that I got from the from the Black Emporium. So I kind of like what he has on right now. Copper bladed star. It's a bit better. Yeah, it's better than the dull brassic Ow, armlet. Hawk family crest. Um, plus nine defense. Um, I can remove. Oh wow, plus one all critical. Plus one to all attributes. Plus four percent critical chance. Damage resistance. Media descent. Yeah, I kind of like that for Carver. Um, the Ring of No Wishes, plus one to all attributes, immediately stun, immediately critical hits, 8% healing to this character, plus one to all attributes. That's pretty good. I'll take that. And the Belt of Provisions, plus 3 dexterity, plus 3 cunning, plus 10% damage resistance, plus 10% magic resistance, plus 1% XP gain. Heck yes. That's, that's good. Okay. I think we're ready. Right. Oh, I need to get um, Carver's tactics up too. Because. Yeah, use enemy nearest visible. No. I want enemy uh, nearest visible class mage. Use ability. Um, holy smite. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, I'll use that at the end, because I really want to use it when it's when he's surrounded by at least three enemies. Um, well, hmm. Oh, it's nearby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cleanse, Dispel Chance, Silence Chance. All right. We'll 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 go with those tactics, the tactics we started with. All right, we've got some injury kits. That'll be useful. Complex Chest. Varric, if you please. We're good to go. Thank you, sir. So it is kind of sad that we lost Sebastian. He pretty much... He pretty much does give you an ultimatum. It's either Sebastian or, or Ander. So unfortunately, you can't beat this game with your full party. One of them has to leave. Um, and that's just too bad. But uh, what can you do? Marion Potion. And a crate. This reminds me of the end of Act 2. Oh, there's the Hanged Man. Can I go in? Oh, I can't go in the Hanged Man. Must have barricaded the place. A lot of Lyrium potion. Stay where you are. There is no escape. Leave me alone. I never asked for any of this. The law is clear, mage. We cannot take the risk. Keep away from me. I'm warning you. Why? Kill it! Kill it now! Why are you Templars even still following Meredith, for goodness sakes? Alright. Now... We're getting somewhere. Um... There we go. Oh yeah. Templar Lieutenant. We got more demons coming. I don't think so. Oh, 
beautiful. Ooh. Demon, demon, demon. Come on, Meryl, zap him. There we go. Got a lot. We've got a lot of rage demons here. Gotta heal Carver. You're still alive, Templar Lieutenant? Fine. They're at damage! Turn on blood magic. I'm exhausted. Ow. Control this one. There we go. Beautifully done. Beautiful. One more. Heals. Beautiful. That was actually a pretty decent... That was a pretty decent challenge. I think that was perfect. Not, you know, overly overwhelming, but at the same time not overly simple either. Gotta make our way Oh my gosh, look at all those abominations Oh yeah, thank you Carver Exactly what I needed, now we gotta drop This Slow things down. Ooh, that desire demon. Ooh, Carver, Carver, Carver. Ooh. I didn't heal him, like, soon enough. Alright, well, there goes our tanker. Come on, guys. Oh, no. There's more of them. Behind us, too. Do you mind? Hold them in. Careful, Varric. Freeze. Not so fast. Good job, Derek. I'm just picking them off one by one. Fortunately, this is less, less ridiculous than the fights in um, Mask of the Mask of the Terror, Mark of the Assassin. That Desire Demon, you need to stop. Beautiful. Sorry, Carver. Here, have an injury kit. Yeah, I sh just a split second more and I would have been able to heal you before that happened. 
a lot of junk that I could just sell if I had a ability to sell. Anything up here? Oh! Oh, good gosh. These mages are getting overwhelmed. Yikes. There we go. Punch them all in. There we go. Here, zap them. Well done. Poor Templar. Templar Lieutenant. Well, I was thinking he really hopes that he doesn't have to attack Colin because he really likes Colin too. Oh, am I completely. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Darn it. That was my fault. Sorry guys! Totally my fault. Fortunately, I just bought a whole buttload of... A buttload of these things. There we go. Come on, mages! You can do it! Is it just me or the NPC mage is not really making much of a dent? <laughs> That's disappointing. Quite a bit, Varric. That's the plan, at least. Just want to make sure there's nothing that I missed back here. I didn't think there was. No, I don't think. Yeah, there's nothing back there. Alright, two injuries. Excuse me? Nothing else here? No? Alright. Well then. We were, able, we were able to save these mages. I guess we'll just keep going this way. Varric, it's a pretty evening, don't you agree? Varric, you're not gonna say anything? What is that smell? Alright. I think someone's murdered an elf. To the docks alley. then. Watch your step. Ooh. Bodies. This is where the Canari used to be. Oh, shades. And a blood mage. Alright, well, I need to silence that one. There we go. Cross class combo, Varric. Whoa. Beautiful. Nice. Oh, not beautiful. Gotta get out of here. Gotta get out of here. Gotta get out of here. Alright, you stay put. You stay put. And you stay put. Yeah, that circle of death is 
horrible. Here, come into my circle of death. Oh, they're all swarming on Meryl for some reason. Here. You can stun them all, can't you, Varric? There we go. Poor Meryl. That darn barrier is keeping us separated. Whoa. Uh Stop doing that. Alright. Blood Mage is down. Still a whole bunch of you guys. Um, uh... Ooh. Another circle of death. Push me into the circle, that's bad. Whoa. Okay, Varric's gonna need an L fruit potion. This is gonna make those punks. Slow him down. Alright, I need a uh, restoration. Woo! Pride Demon's gonna need... Yeah. Ooh, Pride Demon's getting all glowy. I don't like it when it gets glowy. Eric's cornered. They put. Better luck in the next line. Um, I need more. There we go. I thought it was supposed to explode. That's disappointing. Could have been a much oh, Beric. Beautiful. Beric is ah. Blood magic. It's about to charge. Or maybe not. Sorry, can't charge when he's slowed. Pride demons. Easy as pie. Yeah, the 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 challenge level is perfect, I think. Oh, poor people of Kirkwall. They never seem to get a break. The Enigma of Kirkwall. We went to the center of it all. F is dead, and I am alone and injured. We must go back and put an end to it. The maddening thing is, there is still no answer. But the Forgotten One, or Demon, or whatever it is, must be destroyed. I fear one may already be unbound. I forswear my oaths. The Magister's lore must be burned and ashes scattered. No good can come of it, and Maker help us if someone does not does answer what he would we could not. Achievement unlocked archaeologist? I don't think I've ever I don't know what that is. Maybe it's something about reading all the Enigma of Kirkwall? 
or all of the codex is? I don't know. If it is, awesome. Why is Varric up front? Varric, don't be up front. Oh, the gallows. There it is. The Tower of the Magi. The circle. It looks more like a rectangle to me, though. <sighs> Clive's ready. Whoa. Quickly, quickly. Wow. That's some swing. First enchanter. Champion, you've survived, thank the maker. We must And here you are. Oh no, call in. Let us speak, Meredith. Before this battle destroys the city you claim to protect. I will entertain a surrender. Nothing more. Ugh. Great. Now I'm stuck in between Speak again. if you have something to say. Revoke the right of annulment, Meredith, before this goes too far. Imprison us if you must. Search the tower. I will even help you. But do not kill us all for an act we did not commit. That sounds awfully reasonable. The Grand Cleric is dead, killed by a mage. The people will demand retribution, and I will give you it to them. You don't have to do what the people Your demand. Your is commendable, Orsino, but it comes too late. You don't have to do what the people demand, Meredith. I mean, if you bow to what, if you bow to their will, then you're not as strong as you claim you are. Uh, this would be such a Clive thing to say. I was kind of hoping for a happy ending. <laughs> I doubt we'll be seeing that. I suppose I should have expected no less from you, champion. So be it. You will share the Circle's fate. Whatever. So what is it to be, Meredith? Do we fight here? Go. Prepare your people. The rest of the Order is already crossing the harbor. This isn't over. Can I just kill Meredith here now? Ugh. Alright, fine. Don't give me that look. That's the same look she gave me at the end of Act 2. Yeah, they look, they look absolutely terrified. Uh. My fellow mages, heed me. The Templars will come. For all our power, we cannot defeat such an army. There is only one option for us all. Survive. Do not submit. Do not fall on your knees before them. Get out of Kirkwall! Spread word to the other circles! They will not get away with this! Prepare your people, champion, and then speak with me. If we have any chance of surviving, it will be with your help. <laughs> That's right! Oh, uh, great. Oh, I'm not a rogue, so I can't it's open these chests. Dog on it. Fast. Can open this one, small wet pouch of incense. Any thoughts, Orsino? Are you prepared, champion? I believe the battle is almost upon us. Is there truly no hope? You don't believe there's a chance of winning this fight? With you on our side? Perhaps. But even if we win, what then? more Templars would come, with even larger armies. We are apostates now. Our only hope lies in the circles elsewhere in Thedas. They could rise up with us against this injustice. I assure you, however, we will find sympathy nowhere else. We need more time. We're not ready to start yet. Then be quick. The Templars will not give us the luxury of time. Understood. 
Oh, Elaine, you're here. If anyone can help us, you can. Thank you, my dear. I wonder what Grace would say if she saw this. Yeah, Grace. Grace was weak. According to Clive. By weak, I mean she allowed blood magic to take over her. And Clive's not very happy about that. <sighs> Alright. Let's start with the person that probably likes me the least. Here I am, about to defend these mages in hopeless battle. You lead me to strange places, Hawk. This isn't so strange, really. What's one more life or death battle? An excellent point. Then let me say one more thing, in case it's the last. Meeting you was the only good fortune I've ever had. It will be a privilege fighting at your side. Oh, Fenris. Now the battle awaits us. Navia Lerno Victoria. Only the living know victory. Fight well. Fenris, given our history together, that means a lot. So much. I mean, we truly, we may not see eye to eye, but you and I, we've got a great understanding. Definitely. All right. Meryl. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Or there's more to do, or... Does all this feel like a dream to you, too? In a moment, I'll look down and see I have no pants on. <laughs> the champion of Kirkwall going to battle naked. Why can't I ever have that dream? <laughs> Hawk, before we go... I... Meryl, whatever happens, I'm proud to have known you. Aww. That's sweet. Again, considering their history, that's sweet. Shouldn't you be halfway to Tevinter by now? Maker's breath. Take off with a priceless relic once and you never hear the end of it. Your life would have been easier if you had just cut me out of it. But you stood by me. You defied the Canari and fought their Arashok for me, even after I betrayed you. You came back to help me. Defending you from the Arishok was the least I could do. And don't think I'm not grateful for that. I know I don't exactly inspire confidence. But I swear, I'm going to come through for you this time. Aww. When you look for me, I'll be fighting at your side. Thanks, Izzy. Aww. Varric. Oh, Varric, I'm going to miss you and your chest hair. But that's all right, Varric. Your chest hair will be waiting for me in Dragon Age Inquisition. <laughs> I hope your body will be ready. Nervous Hawk? Honestly? Yeah, honestly. My mother didn't raise any stupid children. I know how dangerous this fight will be. Well, that's comforting. It's the most dangerous thing we could ever do. But at least we know that. You know me, Hawk. I'm not one for long goodbyes. I'm not sure we should be doing this. Helping dangerous people run amok. But I'm with you. We face down worse things than this, Varric. What could possibly go wrong? I do that on purpose. Oh, I hate it when you say that. <laughs> what do you say we put an end to all this waiting around and go meet destiny? Thank you, my friend. I love you, Varric. I love you very much. Uh Aveline, you've been with me throughout most of this entire adventure. Captain. Ah, uh, not for much longer if this goes bad. What a mess. You really put loyalty to the test, you know. Yeah, I know. Donick has kept the guard protecting civilians. Meredith will have no support from them. Well, good. With luck, well, let's just say we need some luck. Starting to doubt me? Never. Oh. Almost never. <laughs> okay, there we go. Let's keep the damage to a minimum, shall we? I've walked away from too many wastelands for one lifetime. Yeah. Thank you, Aveline. The bond that Aveline and Clive have really is is pretty special. I like that. I don't get to talk about it very often, but I think Clive, of all of the characters, Clive has the most respect for Aveline. He really does. So... Okay. 
Carver, and then Anders. Brother. Brother. You always seem to find a way to make my life difficult. I should be hunting archdemons, but... It feels right to be at your side again. I know, bro. Feels right to be by your side as well. This is where you should be. The Brother's Hawk. That won't always be the case. I know. You know that. Yeah. I've seen a lot of things. The world out there. It needs help. But I can start here. Who'd have thought, huh? Two nobodies from Lothering. I wish... I wish Mother could have seen us like this. Aww. I don't know what she would think about the rest, but... Carver, I love you, bro. She always knew it would take something like this to bring us together. I suppose she did. I'm proud to call you brother. Aww. That's gone unsaid too long. In war, victory, champion. And whatever else may come. Carver, I'm proud. I am very proud to call you my brother too. And that indeed has gone way too long unsaid. Way too long. Bro hug. Bro hug, Carver. Okay. And last but not least, Anders, what am I gonna do with you? I should have trusted you. Yeah? Even with all we've shared, I never thought you'd spare my life. If we live through this, you know I'll be hunted. No one in Kirkwall will offer me mercy. Yeah, I know. But if you would join me, I'd rather be on the run with you than safe with anyone else. Clive feels like he knew exactly what he signed up for when he went into a when he dove into a relationship with Anders. I mean, he was aware. He knew what he signed up for, and he's gonna he's gonna follow through with it, because that's just the kind of person he is. Then we will be fugitives together. We can build a world where no one ever dies for being how the Maker created them. Ten years, a hundred years from now, someone like me will love someone like you. And there will be no Templars to tear them apart. May the Maker bring us victory, or everything else is meaningless. I don't even get a kiss. Come on, Anders, Bioware programmers. There isn't even a kiss at the end of this romance. Oh, lame.